This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Tommy Toe. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. So we're gonna be spilling the tea on some of these fish tanks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's get it started, FTR baby. Welcome back to another fish tank. Review. You already know what it is. You know how this works. It's already like episode, what episode is it? Episode 60, wow. And still going strong. I have no plans to do anything else with my life. <laughs> Oh no, there's a plec- there's two plecos. So many goldfish in it. And then there's like a SWAT sticker. Nope, in the comments below, they actually said that that was actually part of a religious thing, like a monk thing. I think I've seen that before too. But for this particular one, and I think it's a, it's an Eastern religion sort of symbol. Nothing to do with what most people might think. Not gonna lie, it's a little alarming for me to just see a random you know, look-alike symbol. First of all, I noticed the fruity pebble gravel and then all the goldfish. And then I saw a pleco. And then as you keep going, you see the albino pleco or whatever that one is. And that's already like destruction level bad. The black moor goldfish will get half of the size, if not bigger, the size of this entire fish tank. Not to mention some of those other goldfish can get to like football sized. The pleco itself can grow bigger than a football. And then there's like this elephant, little elephant statue thing. I guess maybe that's also religious, I don't know. And that shocking, symbolic, controversial symbol, which, yeah, apparently that has nothing to do with what we think it is. I mean, if it is truly a religious thing, it's so unfortunate that a lot of people mistaken it. Anyway, the title of this video was The More You Look, The Worse It Gets, and you know what? My experience screams that is true. <laughs> There's probably even worse things that I haven't noticed, but you know what? I'm I'm done with that video for now. This tank is sent in by Alejandro Larin. A pile of oko stone, rockscape, pretty enjoyable. But again, like I always say with really big tanks, they're super hard to scape. They're super expensive to scape. You need much bigger pieces of hardscape and plants to actually make it look semi-decent. This kind of looks like you are scaping a low boy 20 gallon maybe, and then you forgot that you had real estate for all the way up top after that. And that really is very common to see in bigger tanks. It's just missing, you know, a lot, a, a chunk of the real estate. It's free real estate, man. The fish in here, I don't think it's particularly overstocked. It's definitely not under. Um, there are some fish that can get quite big. A pro garami, it's not gonna be too bad. Hard to tell. There's a live bearer, there's a few dither fish, maybe giant daniels, Siamese algae eater, or it could be a flying fox, I'm not sure. The scape is, yeah, a little dwarf down. Very nice try though, 3.9 out of 5, keep it up. How did they make 2300 gallons? look small. Sure, monster fish are cool and you have a point to prove because you might be, I don't know, a little insecure about something else that's not big enough. I mean, if you go to someone like Amano, Takashi Amano, and you asked, how would you aquascape this? This is the last thing. He would rather probably put in pink gravel than put in monster fish because if he was to use monster fish in one of his setups, I am pretty sure that setup needs to be a hundred maybe a thousand times bigger than this enclosure. And I agree with that. I believe that fish need a lot of space, a lot of swimming room, a lot of water. So you have to scale with the scale of the fish. You have to scale with the size of the fish. If the fish is small, it'll need a, you know, a regular size 10, 20 gallon, 30 gallon. If the fish gets bigger, so does that tank need to get bigger. Just because it's really hard to do in a hobby and it's almost impossible to find a scale pr appropriate uh, fish tank for something like an arowana. Doesn't mean that you can just ignore it and start keeping arowanas in a 1000, 2000 gallon because again it's still quite small. I mean that's his whole life. So what Takashi Amano and a lot of other awesome hobbyists would do with a big tank like this and what I would do, my favorite thing, my dream tank, get a big tank like this and fill it with fish that are appropriately sized. So neon tetras, cardinal tetras, all these fish 
that we are putting in our ten gallons, because then that is a whole world to themselves. Instead of making it look so small, jam packing it with monster fish. When you accidentally scare your coolie load during a water change, no, or your bed of fish, ah. Oh. My heart breaks. I'm like, no, you lost all your trust in me over the past three months. You think I'm a monster. It is the equivalent of stepping on your pet's foot. By the way, this haircut was by me. Again, I did my own hair again because I don't want to go out and have someone else cut my hair and then potentially get COVID. It's happened. I mean, it's a mess. I don't know what to say. I just went for it, okay? I don't really know how to... S style it either. I don't use any like gel or whatever. I just wake up and I use my hands and I go like brah. Hope for the best. Whatever. I think it's good enough. Saw this on Facebook. Bro, you good fam? This guy must really love beer. But I can't say that this isn't like found in nature. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the Florida basin. <laughs> Poor fish, but at least it can hold water. I mean, is that our standard now that the... That the <laughs> the fish tank holds water? What does it mean? Holds water, whole set up is 75, price is OBO. OBO means or best offer. What is it? 75 price is or best offer? And then you have it listed as $40. So is it $75 or $40? But why is it or best offer? Bro, ain't nobody trying to do your riddles, okay? They just want a fish tank that can hold water. <laughs> this fish tank sent in by Hua Kun Li. Those lines are beautiful coming out of that Oko stone. You got the natural wood. You got floaters up top. Uh, dual substrate. One of them is nutri bleh, nutrient rich. That's trying to carpet some plants. You got some sunset guppies and then you got a school of albino quarries hey pretty darn good 4.5 out of 5 keep it up ray sent in this tank again love the lines of the natural wood love the rockscape even more actually that giant sword in the back got some serpe tetras and then some corridors here and there really simple scape really nice oh got some uh rummy nose i mean the stocking's all right not my favorite but still understocked and keeping it with some peaceful species that don't will not really run into any problems there anyway 4.6 out of 5. Keep it up. Why Koi? And that Koi is literally saying, Why me? Chris do be speaking French though. Spoil Spanin sent in this simple yet stunning scape. I, I meant to say simple, guys. Come on. Simple. Me as a French trying to understand what do play mean. Yeah, that's not even a French word. I know a bit of French and there's no play. If faux. But it's Catalan. Simple. Ce n'est pas un mot. Essie Axe sent in this fish tank. We got a theme of like really nice wooden lines going on. Look at that cornerscape. Tell me that's not amazing. It is amazing. Just a few critiques. I mean, you have the most beautiful wood combination there out of everything I've seen today, which is awesome. But I feel like the size is a little, a little bit on the short end. And the plants, perhaps they'll grow out, but for now the plants, they're also a little bit not just on the edge of not being the perfect size for this fish tank. If the fish tank was just a bit smaller or those scape aspects are a little bit bigger, I think it will make for a superb scape. Try to get some carpeting action going with that dwarf sag. 4.35 out of 5, keep it up. This tank is set in by Tom Newell. Beautiful tank, you even have live plants with your Oscars. That's great. I love the hardscape. I love the central wood, the setup of that. I love the branches coming down. I even quite enjoy that just straight vertical piece. The wood is amazing in this tank. Now I'm not too sure about the Oscars. I think this is not the worst tank for stocking wise. I've seen way worse, but yeah, I'm impressed. This is actually a really nice Oscar tank and you definitely don't see that every day. There's a small Oscar in there. I hope it is doing okay and not being bullied too much. I'm not sure exactly how adult Oscars treat juvenile Oscars. I mean, if everything checks out and is proper and if I'm just judging on the scape, yeah, this is great. 4.65 out of 5, keep it up. Boy, you guys are on fire today. Light doesn't work and it did have 20 fish, but they all died, so there's just one tetra. Never had its water changed and filter isn't on. By the way, that picture is shot before COVID. So that mask is strictly for putting on to actually open the lid of the tank because there's just so much poison in the film. <laughs> That's complete BS. But seriously, what? Why do you even have a tank then? Nothing is on, you don't do anything, the fish are dead. Uh, by the way, 20 in that is a little 
pushing it. And even your fish food looks like cat food. You clearly don't want to keep fish. Don't force yourself to do something you don't want as a hobby. Get out of here. I was looking for a new fish for my pond and came across this. He keeps it on his office desk, probably looking at it for 8 hours daily. Well, if, if he's not looking at the fish 8 hours daily, you bet the fish is looking at him his whole life. This fish literally can only have one position its whole life. And it's that position. I doubt the orange tinge is because of healthy tannins. I don't want to imagine what that is. Man, talk about a hardy fish. If any fish is hardy, it's that one. The face is pretty cartoony. It's like, bro, are you serious? Can you do something better for me? Two sick goldfish in a small tank for the small price of 70. Is that pounds or euros? I got it wrong last time and y'all let me have it in the comments. I'm gonna guess euros because it kind of looks like an E. Pounds is that weird other thing, right? I'm American. I actually, I'm, I mean, yeah, it's America, but I'm technically Canadian. I'm Canadian, eh? So yet another French meme. Poison to compris? That's wrong. I mean, this guy is French and you got a guy from China, born in China who moved to Canada posting YouTube videos to correct someone's French. You need to go back to school and learn your own language, okay? I'm from mainland China. I know more French than you. It's actually poisson, which I mean, there's, there's supposed to be two S's, but I mean, at least this guy is being honest. It is poison. To compris. It's it's all it's all included. The, even the poison. The irony. Say hello to my new friend. His name is Frida. <laughs> no. <laughs> the irony is strong in this one as well. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this episode of Fish Tank Review, please give it a like and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet.